is on fire today. He goes for a reverse layup. Oh, and he's denied by Tester Verde. Oh. But the denies, deny. Romeo goes for another trick. Oh. Whip, and the crowd goes wild. Oh, oh. yeah. <laughs> so today's the day, huh? Yeah. Varsity trials. 3.30. If anyone can make the team, you can. Uh, Ro, I don't mean to rain on your parade, but uh, Coach Quintero never puts a freshman on the varsity team. You mean not yet. I've been working on my game all summer. Check this. All right, but don't get your hopes up. Look, sis, I love you, but there's two things you should know. First, I don't care if I got to sleep in the gym. I'm going to do whatever it takes to make that team. And second? I'm unveiling a new shot in my arsenal. The no-look roll hook. <laughs> Check this out. <laughs> Sorry, bro. Come on, Topolsky, move your feet. You look like my grandma. Sorry, Nana, you're much better than that. You, Topolsky, get over here. Man, he's tough. <laughs> this is what it's like when he's happy. Cal. Romeo. You played on this team last year? I played JV last year. Point guard, 17 points a game, six assists. Wow. I played point two. Making varsity is what this year's all about. Oh, yeah. Me too. Next. You. Name and grade. Romeo Miller, freshman. Did you say freshman? The sign said open trials. I know nothing open tryouts. Huh? Nothing. Great. Uh, good luck to you. Okay, freshman. Let's see your stroke. smiling about freshmen? You having fun? I'm not having fun. This isn't fun. What difference does it make what grade you're in? Now don't make the same mistake that I made last year. You gotta show the coach some flavor. Give him something special for the highlight reel. I got all kind of moves. Well, I suggest you bust him out. Next. <laughs> What do you call that, Miller? Oh, the no-look row hook. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. And in case the rest of you are wondering, if there's one thing I never want to see, it's a hot dog move like that. Caramba, that is not going to make it with me. Dad, relax. Come on, your nervousness is making me nervous. The suspense is killing me. There he is. And there he goes. Man, this isn't good. Darnell, good job today. Get some rest, and thank you for not transferring to schools, eh? Word. Palabra. <laughs> hey, you coach Quintero? Si, senor. I am the head who poncho. <laughs> You're making cuts tomorrow, right? That's right. I saw what I needed to see. We have some size, some quickness. Are you a parent? I'm Romeo's dad, Percy Miller. Percy Miller, the music producer, Percy Miller? That's me. Oh, man, it's a pleasure to meet you. I'm a musician, too. I just do this, you know, basketball thing until I get discovered. 
<laughs> oh, oh uh, wifey. Uh, Percy, uh, you and me, we need to talk music, eh? For sure. Okay, Percy. <laughs> Hola, Sajija. This is bad. This is really bad. I just wish he wouldn't have got his hopes up. I told him Coach Q never puts a freshman on the varsity team. Hey, guys. What's going on here? Ro, this is how he acts when he's disappointed. Yeah. <laughs> What's he so depressed about? Guess he didn't make the team. Oh. Oh, looks like somebody left a message. Hola, this is Coach Quintero. Please tell Romeo that he's only a freshman and uh, his team needs a lot of work. But, uh, call me crazy. I think he might help the varsity team. I made the team? He made the team. You hear that? He made the team! I mean, I made the team! Oh, I think what I did, what I saw, oh, my name is, I made the team! Bed time. <laughs> Catching up on some funnies before turning in? Nope. Just getting ready to dream about the Astro Flyer 3000 again. Astro Flyer 3000? The coolest scooter on the planet. And I need one. Bad. <laughs> well, I'm not just gonna go out and buy you a scooter. You know, why don't you look through the WAN ads, see if you can find a used one at one of those garage sales. What did you just say? WAN ads? After that? Um, getting a used one? Keep going. Garage sale. Cha-ching! I'm gonna have me a garage sale. <laughs> you never cease to impress. Mm. You hear that tone? I'm getting an Astro Flying 3000. Keep up the good work. Romeo Miller. They said it couldn't be done. Varsity freshman. Yeah. Casey Bush, editor of the school newspaper. Care to give me a sound bite? Great. And action. Well, it's a great, great honor. I'm very happy to represent McDaniel. Perfect. Thanks. And I'll be happy to represent freshmen everywhere. <laughs> Greatness. Thanks. Don't you want to hear how I give 150% every day? Not so much. Oh, photo up. Photo up. Hold, hold that pose. Hold, hold that pose right there. Uh, Arnell, can you lean down a little bit? Yeah. Uh, a little more. A little more. Actually, you know what? Can you pick Romeo up? Yeah. Like a bag of groceries. That's it. Don't be afraid. Perfect. Greatness. of all the stuff? Toys, knickknacks, they mean nothing to me. Wow, uh, you must really want this scooter, huh? You see this? This is kid stuff. I'm over it. 
Yeah, that, that may be true, but, you know, a lot of this stuff has sentimental value. I still have my Miss Piggy and Kermit that my grandma gave me when I was little. You know, you can get top dollar for both of those. Yeah, I'm not selling them. You sure? I would be devastated. Oh, well then, um, might want to wrap them in? I think they're in that box over there. Hey, Ro, can you do me a favor? Sure. Can you uh, give this to your dad? It's my uh, demo CD. Uh, sure. Okay, gracias. See you at practice, eh? You know, I've been trying and trying to figure out how a freshman like you made the team over someone like me. Now it makes sense. What's that supposed to mean? It means it's not what you know, it's who you know. Who your daddy knows. Hey, Dad. I'm gonna fill the popcorn bowl. It's empty. Yeah, you do that, son. Zero. So, how do you know Coach Katero? I only met him when I came to see how your tryout went. What's the matter? Oh, he wanted me to give this to you. Coach Quintero sing the blues. Oh, no. Why'd you have to tell me you were a music producer? He recognized my name. Bro, what's wrong? I'd do anything to make the varsity team. But I don't want to be on the team if I don't deserve it. You do deserve to be on the team. You got game. Some of the guys think I made the team because, well, they think the coach want to get in good with you. Let's see if coach really can sing or not. Uno, dos, tres. I'm chilling like a villain. I mess with the best. <laughs> I live out west. I just took over a burning nest. I'm as bad as they come. That's right, I just took more pieces of gum. <laughs> you better tell Coach to stick to his day job. And you know what, Ron? Don't worry about what jealous people think. You good. You deserve to be on the team. You're getting a great deal, sir. It's a collectible. Mrs. Guthrie! You look fantastic. Can I interest you in this fine pair of ping pong paddles? <laughs> Carrie, why don't we let the people shop in peace? And there's one thing I know how to do. It's sell stuff. Oh, Carrie. <gasps> Interesting. Tony, where did he come from? Oh, I noticed him under your bed when we were hauling stuff down here. Hmm. Wonder how you found her there. I'll give you $10 for him. I'm sorry, Mrs. Guthrie, but I think Tony the Turtle's a little out of your price range. 20. Uh-uh. 30. Nope. 40. Um, it's okay. I'll give you $50. Gary, now you can get your scooter. Um, well... Okay. Whoa! You really do know how to sell stuff. That was amazing. Yeah. Great. <coughs> Romeo Miller. Freshman, numero uno. Que pasa? I wanted to give this back to you. Then I listened to it? Yeah, he did. What do you think? Give it to me straight. Don't sugarcoat it. He didn't like it. Good or bad, I'm fine. Let me have it. 
He hated it. So I'm ready. Come at me. Guns are blazing. He hated it. All right, Frijoles, man. Are you kidding me? Nope. Go on, Miller. Get out of my office. Take a hike. So, what does this mean? What do you mean, what does this mean? I've always dreamed about being the next Mark Anthony, and now it's over. And if I'm gonna bust a tear duct, I like to be alone. So, does this affect my standing on the team? Don't be late for practice. Romeo, for the record, how does it feel to be such a fraud? Say what? Oh, it's all over school. Romeo Miller, youngest freshman to make varsity. Also, coincidentally, son of Coach Q's new best friend. Wait, wait, hold up. Where did you hear that? I'm sorry. I can't reveal my sources. <laughs> Who's Cal? Cal? Where is he? Once again, I'm sorry. The divulged information would be wrong. <laughs> He's in his locker. Hey, my dad listened to Coach's CD. You know what? He hated it. Yeah, that's real believable. Look, Casey, you want your story? Well, here it is. Me against him, one-on-one. -on -one. Can't do it. Sprained my index at JV scrimmage where I dropped 34 points. Well, what do we do? Wait until it heals? Wait? No, we can't wait. This story is fresh. Well, look, I'm ready, and I don't care who you throw at me. How about Big D? Ow. Let's do it. Word. down here? Uh, nothing. And why aren't you asleep in your room? Oh, uh, you know, <laughs> uh, figured it'd make more sense to sleep here, cause, um, cause, oh, I wouldn't have to walk as far for breakfast tomorrow morning. Yeah, that's it. You want to tell me what's really going on? I can't go back to my room. Why? Cause I sold Tony to Mrs. Guthrie. She gave me $50 for him. And now you miss him. When I was a little boy, he used to protect me from bed monsters. Now I feel so different without him. Well, why don't you talk to Angeline? She'll go see Miss G and get Tony back. I can't. She told me not to sell everything just for money. She was right. I don't even want that stupid scooter anymore. I just want Tony back. Well, I'll help you deal with Miss G, but tonight you have to go back to bed. Can I sleep in yours? All right, but just for tonight. Well, here we are. You said you were making oolong tea, right? Yep, and here it is. Oh, oolong is my favorite. <laughs> That's good, Mrs. Guthrie. Anyway, about Tony. Oh, he's adjusting very well to his new home. Actually, we were wondering if Gary could buy Tony the Turtle back from you. Oh, heavens no! I've been looking for Tony the Turtle for the past seven years. <laughs> Pawn shops, yard sales, even the internet. Nothing. And yesterday there he was, poking his little head out of the basket at me. Hello. I didn't know Tony was such a catch. Oh, he's from the first Nuffity collection. He's worth far more than the $50 I paid for him. <laughs> How much? The going rate for a Tony is, um, $96. What? Jody, let me handle this. Go on, player. Mrs. Guthrie. Tony and I have been through a lot together. He's more than just a, just a bunch of fuzz and buttons. He's my friend. And you, 
You can't put a price on that. <laughs> oh, that's the most beautiful thing I have ever heard. It's still $96. Okay. Here's a hundy. Keep the change. Yes! Welcome home, Tone. All right, boys. Seven by ones, winners out. Any questions? Let's just do it. Great. Uh, I'm gonna want an interview with the winner after the game, so don't go making any plans. <laughs> All right then. Uh, I'm gonna be sitting, so. Varsity can't even score. Like you could do any better. Time out. There's no timeouts. I said time out. Oh. Time out. <sighs> Are you sure you want to go through with this thing, man? I got it, Lou. Mm -hmm. yeah. You made the team, fair and square. You don't have to prove it to these guys. I know. But I got to prove it to myself. All right, listen, loosen him up by hitting a three, make him come out, then take it to the rack. He's big, but not bigger than me when I'm holding a broom. How do you feel now? Bush here with Darnell Valentine, who just endured a scorching defeat. Darnell, would you say this is a massive blow to your ego? Word. Go short. It's your. What's the coolest thing about being half boy, half ghost? You're the target of hundreds of evil ghosts. Oh, wait, that's a bad one. The coolest thing about Danny Phantom is that he's only on Nick. Danny Phantom, weeknights at 7.30 Eastern, only on Nick. I'll be back, cuz Nickelodeon's where I'm at. Okay. Hey, ho, watch the flow. It's time for the Romeo Show. Holler, Romeo, alone. Holler, Romeo.